Hello YouTube, this is Josh from Instinct Design and today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to use 3ds Max and export a file from 3ds Max into ZBrush and then again from ZBrush into 3ds Max. It's quite simple and I will now show you how to do this. So first, start with an object. I'm just going to uh, create a box of some sort. Make sure it's uh, converted into a polygon by right clicking, going down to Convert to and Convert to Editable Poly. This could be any object you have, could be a map, could be a character, objects, just anything you want. And then you go to the top left hand corner, down to drop down menu, export, and you choose the location you want to. In this case I'm going to save in a place called example, and call it box. And then make sure, in the drop down menu here, it is all the way down to object. Okay, And press save, and export it. Now this is fast, easy, and this is the stage done. And next we have to go into ZBrush. Okay, now in ZBrush we go to Import on the right hand side. We find the library we want to, so Documents, I'm going to find my uh, example folder. Box. And very simply, draw it out and uh, go into your editable mode by pressing T. And there you go, there's your object. Very, very simple, very, very fast. Now you can, again, you can bring this into other scenes. So for example, let's load, let's load a demo soldier, soldier at the bottom here, right? So this is a character here. We can click on a random subtool, so down here somewhere, I don't know, whatever you want to do. Uh, and then go to import, double click the box. Uh, whatever it says. <laughs> and there we have a massive box in the scene. So obviously this will need scaling down, so scale, draw a line out, and bring it down. If it'll work, <laughs> that is. So guys, this is a very, very simple, simple tutorial. Um, very fast, very easy, very effective, and this will take a long time to shrink, so I won't do that. And I'll next be showing you how to take something from ZBrush into 3ds Max. Okay, so in ZBrush, I've just got a basic uh, 3D sphere. Um, now what we need to do is make Polymesh 3D of this. Now this could be, again, any model you want, but it's going to be mine, so I'm going to do like a nice little smiley face going on, or maybe a <laughs> little angry face, I don't know. And then uh, on the right-hand side, go to Export. Choose the location you want, so again, example. Call it Face Object, or whatever you want to do. And again, note, .obj, this is like a universal thing between modeling software, so just try and keep them in this file format or something very similar. And save, yes I want to replace it. And there we go, so that's that done, and I'm now going to go into 3ds Max. Okay, so now in 3ds Max I want to import that uh, weird face thing, so top left hand corner, import, find where I want again, example folder, face, and click import. Just skip that and press close and there is your face guys. So again it was very simple, very fast, you know, sort of low faff and it's very easy to do. Um you can then, you know, model this with the vertexes, do whatever you need to do. But uh just do remember this is quite high poly and the higher poly it is, the more likely it is to crash your computer if you bring it into this software. So try and keep it low poly and use the high poly in ZBrush. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, um, I will be bringing more out soon. Um, if you have any comments or any questions uh, or any requests, feel free to leave them in the uh, comment boxes below. Please subscribe and thank you for watching. This is Instinct Design, over and out.